for for some of them. The Dun Beholden lineup this afternoon, pretty similar to the one that defeated Falkland 2 0 last week, except that Sneaky Burton is in for Ricardo Thomas. Ricardo Thomas away on national duty for the Jamaica Reggae Boys, who are up against Cameroon in the coming week. So they'll play with Thomas at the spearhead of the attack. Benbow and Barnett supporting him from the wings. Christian, the man in the middle, uh, the Rondo master, McCarthy and Powell will hold, although Powell will push on and McCarthy will be playing closer uh, to the two central defenders, McPherson and Watkin. Yeah, there's your Harborview lineup getting ready for this battle here. And uh, the Harborview lineup has three changes to the one that defeated Chapleton Maroons in their opening game. Kissim Priestley, Trey Martin and Demar Rose coming in for Colorado Murray, O'Shane Staple and uh, Jamon Shepard who had started in that opening game. And uh, Demar Rose, former Portmore player in his first season here at Harborview, who he had played a lot of youth football with. Uh, Anyhow, so he's accustomed to the Harborview outfit. Yeah, surprising to see Tamara Lewis at centre forward. He's played everywhere in attack for Harborview over time, except central midfield. Well, central midfield is holding. So, yeah, everywhere in attack. And today he leads the line with Nicholas Hamilton and Robinson supporting him from the wings. Demar Rose, uh, the creator in chief, and then Priestley and Anglin to ensure that the defence doesn't come under too much pressure. Nicholas Hamilton. Things got off to a fairly bright start here for. Harbour viewers, Lewis snatches onto this one and drives the left-footed strike past Damian Hyatt to give Harbour View the advantage. Good acceleration there from Timar Lewis and he scores his first goal in almost three years in the Premier League and uh, gets Harbour View in front by one goal to nil. Gets the congratulations from his team's teammates. To Sean Anglin, slides the ball across here to Hamilton whose left-footed strike is over the top. But Harbour View very, very strong in the first half. And look at this free kick from Fabian McCarthy, placing his right-footed shot very accurately past Amal Knight, who had no chance, and uh, pulling a goal back here, Dunbar Holden. Hamilton had an outstanding game. Apart from his two goals here, he's delivering this one here to Rose. Gets the ball back, Hamilton does, and just steers the ball very, very calmly and confidently past Damien Hatt as Harborview retook the lead there. Powell cross inside, headed just over the top as Dunbar and tried to get themselves back into the game before the halftime break. Benbo twisting in and out here with the Bennett. His cross firm and hard but Amal Knight gets in the way and Harborview get the ball away. But just one of a few moments of excitement there from Ben Bow. He was largely ineffective today. Here comes Ronaldo Robinson here for Harborview. Anglin goes for the strike, but it's over the top. Had a good game, Anglin. And here comes O'Shane Staple, who had just come on as a substitute a few minutes earlier, picking up a loose ball here as the ball deflected in his path and just sliding the right-footed shot past Damien Hatt and giving Harborview further control of the game. Lewis. Robinson. Right-footed strike by Robinson. Well deflected here by Damien Hatt who tries to keep Dunbar Holden in the game. Harborview though. With Tom. Yeah, her nail. Another nail. Daly's cross inside, finds Hamilton, whose left-footed strike is on target. And gives Harborview a handsome 4-1 victory. And uh, there is a Harborview happy clan. And Damien Parchment has seen enough here. Harborview on top by four goals to one, comfortably. Of the eight shots they had on goal, five of them were on target. Dunbar Holden had marginally more shots on goal. Uh, a little fewer on target, four. 16 foul, 15 fouls in the match, nine of them committed by Dunbar Holden players who had two yellow cards of the three given by Parchment in the game. 16 corners forced by Dunbar Holden. And uh, two to Harbour View, 
three saves pulled off by the Harborview goalkeeper Amal Knight. Just one save by Damien Hyatt in the Dunbar Holden goal. And it was Harborview in the end that had more ball position at 53%. And George Davis is on the infield with our man of the match, Nicholas Hamilton. Nicholas Hamilton is our man of the match and he is with me here on the pitch. Nicholas, you got two goals today. Uh, you looked comfortable out there today. It looked as if you were enjoying yourself. Yeah, I mean, I was enjoying myself from, from the first. So, uh, as I said in the last interview, that it's a, it's, a, it's a thing of consistency. So I'm just trying to be consistent, come out here every day and try to give my best performance. From where we sat, it looked as if it was a game plan very well executed by you and your team. Assess how you and the boys went about this work, the, the job this afternoon. I think we have to put all of the, the presses on the coach. You know, you work really hard with us in the week and get us in a situation like how he wants us to play. And I think the boys come out here and did that today. All right, let's talk about the first goal, one of the yeah. two. Uh, the first one, you started the play, Demar Rose. Was that the pass you were expecting? Did you tell, well, did you know that he would loop it over the defence for you like that? I mean, I know the quality of Demar, so I just have to play to him and move. So once I play to him and move in the space, I, I, I was confident that he would pick me out. You didn't score many last season, but yeah. everyone you scored was worth its weight in gold. Are you hoping for a, a, a big haul at the end of the season? I mean, my ultimate aim is to try to get a move again overseas January. So from now until January, I'm just trying to be consistent. Even though I'm trying to be consistent all season if it doesn't work in January, but that's the, that's the ultimate aim. Well, congratulations. Defenders beware. All the best. Uh, thank you very much. Nicholas Hamilton.